Snake. You're north of the village. The truck carrying the nukes is heading towards the heart of the mountain. That's its final destination. We've got no intel on what lies beyond, so stay sharp. the bridge and head north. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Good. You reached the transport route. Follow it to their base. Someone attacking? The enemy's attacking! We're going to alert status! Understood. Dispatching reinforcements. Proceed with extra caution. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Fulton recovery to helicopter. Beyond that fort, you've got to get past it somehow. Can't be imagining things. helicopter. Kaz, I'm inside the facility. There's rows and rows of trucks here. If that's where they brought the nukes, then the truck we're after should be there. Snake. 
can you tell which one of the trucks brought the nukes? One of them must have the same license plate as the one from the terminal. <clears throat> this is the one. The exhaust's still warm. But the cargo's already been offloaded. Just a minute. This isn't what we agreed on. It's too late. The changes have already been finalized. You told me it was going to be a deterrent that we wouldn't have to launch. I am not arguing with you, Doctor. Our goal is to create the perfect deterrent. That's why I agreed to help develop it. Mm -hmm. However, in order to achieve that perfect deterrent, we must show the world our strength. Three key principles ensure effective nuclear deterrence. First, you must have nuclear weapons. Second, you must never use them first. And third, and most important, if someone attacks you, you must strike back. Unless we prove beyond a doubt that these three principles work in practice, the world will not accept our new deterrent. And the only way to do that is to show them we are capable of actually launching a nuke. But isn't deterrent supposed to stop nukes from being used? Exactly. And so the one we launch will be the last one ever. I won't let you use my creation like that! <laughs> your creation? <laughs> that thing wasn't even your idea to begin with. You stole it, didn't you? <clears throat> stole it? You're one to talk! You got the idea for bipedal locomotion from the communists in the first place! You listen to me, Doc. Keep quiet. Do as I say. Not another word about stolen ideas. Should we succeed here, you'll be the toast of the scientific community. And your name will go down in history as champion of both progress and national security. The hell with that! Doctor! Unless we prove we're capable of launching, <laughs> Peace Walker is useless as a deterrent. <laughs> You used me! We used each other. I'll get my old director's job back at headquarters, and you'll finally be able to walk tall among your colleagues. Uh, I won't let you get away with this! How unfortunate. Guess I'll just have to take your legs for myself! <laughs> just come to our stock. We are going to have to meet it halfway. V for victory. Wait! <laughs> hey, you okay? Don't do it! Snap out of it! Where are the nukes? He's gonna do it! He's gonna launch a nuke! 